Can you believe it's almost Christmas? Oh yeah, Christmas! Thank God that you didn't get Corona. I trust God He's going to keep us safe. Do you? Our Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Ray, and this is how Harper chose her new ornament. Mike, is the tree set up and ready to go? Almost, I would say it's close. On a completely separate and unrelated note, do you guys have tree glue? That's not a thing. Check with the Whatnots group. They have a ton of different crafty supplies. Great idea, Captain. I would say the tree will be ready for decorating within the hour. Speaking of the whatnots, this is a beautiful batch of ornaments that they've put together for this year. Decorating the tree is my favorite tradition for Christmas. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. I can't wait for my first Christmas here at Connect HQ. Well, we have another tradition that I think you'll like. Each year we pick a new ornament to celebrate the end of the year. This is the very first ornament that I had for my first year at the Connect Station. It just reminds me of all the ways that God has been faithful to me over the years. Do you miss the Connect Station? Sometimes, but we've made a lot of great memories here. And I realized how much I loved Connect HQ when I had to leave for a while. Like when you stood up to the whip? Yep. <laughs> so much has happened this year, I almost forgot about that. Man, it seems like it was just yesterday that we had a visit from the whip and we weren't quite seeing things eye to eye. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I know that you had a different process, but I really wanted you to see what a full transmission looked like and why we find the links that we find. I see. And you believe this way is better than mine. I do. I firmly believe that God can find a better answer than I can on my own. He keeps me on guard and gives me strength. Well, I salute your conviction. You stand up for what you believe is right. Thanks, Miss Whipple. And you are hereby suspended until further notice. <gasps> what? Ray went behind my back and deliberately disobeyed orders. <laughs> Effective immediately, she is no longer captain of this HQ. But you can't do that! I was given the authority to make any changes necessary in order for HQ to run at peak efficiency. And it is my belief that it is necessary for Captain Ray to go. Now! Effective immediately! As you wish. Oh! <laughs> and do be a dear and leave your watch before you go. What are you doing? Just say you're sorry. Luke, God gives me courage to do what's right. I'll show you to the door. Come on. <laughs> I remember when you had the courage to stand up for what was right. It wasn't easy leaving, but when things started to look bad for a while, I just waited for God to keep his promises to me, and he did. God always keeps his promises. Faithful and true is who he is. And this ornament, it's gonna help me remember that. Do you know which ornament you're gonna pick for your first Christmas here? Maybe that one. Or this one? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to settle on one right away. But we'll make sure we pick the perfect one for you. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, why won't you get off of me? Hi, I was just about to call you guys. 
What happened in here? Well, the tree toppled over and there was glue involved and now I have to try to reassemble the tree with one hand. I mean, what? One hand? I, did I say hand? I meant stand. Every branch should have a stand. You glued one of the branches to your hand, didn't you? This is my life now. Mike, you said the tree would be ready to decorate. I'm sorry, Harper. It's okay. This year at Connect HQ, we've seen all kinds of mistakes. It's this button. That button? Mm hmm What does it do? Oh, no! All right, Ava, this is a master level technique. All right, this is called the Dunkin' Donut. All right. So you go around and then the other way, and then it's like back. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh no, now I've broken it. They're not gonna want me around anymore when they figured out what I've done. Happy birthday. Oh. So I wish him well, but he is not I. Hey, Maurice. Hey, Nick. I was born with an innate ability to keep myself safe while I go. Yeah, do you remember that time that I accidentally, accidentally, I can't do air quotes with a branch hand. Mike, you're gonna have to go down to the medic to get that safely unglued. Oh yeah, and I've got nine out of 10 hole punches on my hospital card. I get an extra free lollipop this time. I'm bummed Mike didn't keep his promise to us. Yeah, but God always comes through. It's like it says in this Bible story. Let me show you. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of God's to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Let it blow up all the pages that this show gone off. Let his world explode from this video into your life. The Bible is God's word, and it is full of his promises. God promised Noah he would never again send rain to flood the entire earth. And with God, a promise is a promise. God promised Abraham he would become the father of a great nation, God's people. And with God, a promise is a promise. God promised his people they would live in a great land, the promised land. And even though it sometimes seemed like that promise might never happen, with God, a promise is a promise. He led his people out of slavery in Egypt to the land he had promised them. God spoke to his people through prophets. He promised to send us his son, Jesus. And with God, a promise is a promise. Many years before Jesus was born, the prophet Jeremiah said God's son would come from King David's family. The prophet Micah said God's son would be born in Bethlehem. And with God, a promise is a promise. The prophet Isaiah said that he would be called Emmanuel and his kingdom would last forever. God gave many promises about the birth of his son. And many years later, Mary gave birth to Jesus in Bethlehem the city of David, and they called him Emmanuel, which means God with us. It all happened just as God said, because with God, a promise is a promise. When Jesus was only eight days old, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple to dedicate him to God. There they met a man named Simeon and a woman named Anna. When Simeon and Anna saw Jesus, they celebrated. 
That's because God had promised they would live to see God's son before they died. Simeon and Anna looked at Jesus and knew God's promises to them were true. Because with God, a promise is a promise. See, when Jesus was born, it was a sign that God's promises had come true. Some people had to wait a long time to see that happen. Yeah, but God still came through. Come on, I'll give you a hand to set up the tree. Okay, as long as you promise to stay away from the glue. I promise. <laughs> okay. The operation was a success. Ooh, popcorn! Mike, this is for decorating the tree. Oh, right, decorating the tree. And Harper, I'm sorry I broke my promise and didn't have the tree put together. It's all right, me and Ray got it all set up. Yeah, but I just don't like breaking promises. God never lies or breaks his promises. He makes them and never breaks them. I just wish I could be like that. Sometimes people let us down. It reminds me of the time Alyssa and I felt let down by our parents. I know you probably want to be alone, but I wanted to say something. It might sound weird coming from a kid, but I know how you feel. Really? My parents got a divorce when I was six years old. I'm so sorry, Harper. Yeah. I don't remember everything that happened. They fought a lot. And I was angry at them because they couldn't stop yelling and love each other. I'm angry at my parents too. And it took a while to get over, but I did. And I can still see the ways that God used that story for his glory. He taught me a lot about forgiveness. It's tough. It is. But it won't always be this way. And you're not alone. You know, God never gives up on us. Even if our family is not being the best example of follow through or faithfulness, God stays true. It's just like that verse from the book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 4. Can you say it with me or will it hurt your hand? Let's try. Psalm 33, 4. Psalm 33, 4. For the word of the Lord is right and true. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. He is faithful in all he does. God always tells the truth and always follows through in everything he does. I'm glad your hand is feeling better. Me too. Bandage hand is better than branch hand. All right, just a little bit higher on the right. Perfect. Now all you guys need to do is pick your ornament that you want to put on the tree. You have to pick the perfect ornament that reminds you of how this year felt. This one reminds me of how last year smelled. Oh no. Oh, no, it's my lucky socks. Well, I can't get rid of these. Got the hide them before someone else finds out. There's that smell again. Oh, why does it smell like sour diapers? Hmm, well, I, I, I don't smell anything, it must be gone. Uh, no, there's something else in there. No, Mike, you, Mike, you know what I'm... It's these socks. Luke. What are your lucky socks doing in the mailbox? It's lucky socks? More like PU socks. Oh, I'm still holding them. Either the socks go, or I go, or the socks go. I'll get rid of them. Or you could wash them. Yeah, but then they won't be so lucky. Hey guys, I found the Bible story link. Why? I'll never forget that smell. It was like someone left lasagna and broccoli out in the sun. <laughs> but it also reminds us that God doesn't hide things from us. He tells us the truth. 
Have you decided what ornament you're going to choose yet? I think so. When I think of this year, there are three words I will always remember. Thanks, Connect HQ. Thanks, Connect HQ. Thanks, Connect HQ. Thanks, Connect HQ! God is faithful to help us do the work that we do. I will never forget that. God also always keeps His promises, faithful and true is who He is. Plus, your ornament already has a song that goes with it. A song? Yeah. Christmas three, oh, Christmas three. Uh, Are you guys ready out there? Not yet. Ready. Aww. Merry Christmas, you guys. I can't wait to see all the amazing things God's going to do next. I'm Ray, and I wanted to share this with you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Psalms. Psalm 33, 4. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. We can always trust and believe in what God says he'll do. He always keeps his promises. He never lies, and he never gives up. The Bible shows God making and keeping many promises to his people, even when they had to wait a long time. Even when they made mistakes, or even when things looked bad, God always came through. Throughout this last year, we have seen all kinds of examples that God is faithful. No matter what we do, He keeps His promises to us, even if we make mistakes. God is your Father who always keeps His promises to you. You can trust and believe that He will always be faithful to do everything that He says. God always keeps His promises. Faithful and true is who He is. Think of all the incredible ways that God has been faithful to you this year. God is a loving Father that we can trust. Merry Christmas, and remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Hope you have fun, friends. Goodbye. Jesus, you're alive in me. Yeah, you give me life. You're here to stay. You're with me every day. You make it feel like, feel like it's Christmas every day. Jesus, I'm yours forever. God, you're with me every day. Christmas every